Invasion of Chaos would release in North America in March of 2004. With it brought powerful monsters such as Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, and Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. At the Anaheim Convention Center in California, the World Championship would happen July 25th of 2004 in front of a crowd of over 10,000 people and the top four decks would utilize these cards. As well as taking advantage of magical scientists to summon out powerful fusion monsters. Togawa Masatoshi would take first with his Chaos deck and Chan Wan Hang would take second with the very same deck strategy. In this series, both Christian and myself will be wandering through the corridors of Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Each episode, we will uncover past formats and unlock new strategies as new champions were crowned. Buckle up, because anything is possible. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Clash of Champions. Okay, so... We let Christian play a confiscation while Imperial Order was up. Okay, so... We used the wrong effect of Bazoo. Maybe those things, you know, would have maybe not be stuck in this hat. But I am ready to right the wrongs this time around. Because I am playing Chan Wan Hang's second place deck from the 2004 World Championships. And it is a weird time in Yu-Gi-Oh! There's no limit on the then called fusion deck and magical scientists is running rampant. So people are playing huge fusion decks. I mean, almost 30 cards worth so much. So that there are some that we are missing today. Cause we just did not have all of them. I mean, it's, it's pretty nuts, but this is going to be a, uh, an interesting one. Cause not only is magical scientists around, but also cards like Black Luster Soldier, Chaos Emperor Dragon, as well, too. So let's get into this deck. First off, we are playing the Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End, which will mark the Envoy of Christian's End in this duel, most certainly. So we got one copy of the End, followed by one copy of the Beginning, Black Luster, a very iconic monster in Yu-Gi-Oh! They, of course, deserving a spot in the upper echelon of any kind of world championship tournament. So one copy of him, followed by one copy of our boy Jinzo, always putting in the work to negate all those trap cards. Following up with a copy of Breaker the Magical Warrior. Very good card, very uh, versatile. 1900 attack, or you can remove that counter. Pop a back row. You can't beat that. Next up, we got our Sangan. And our Witch of the Black Forest. Two very good searchers for the deck. I mean, Witch, you can search just about anything, thanks to a lot of monsters having low defense. Except for our Chaos Boys. And Sangan helping you search out this monster coming up next. Magical Scientist. So this, you pay 1,000 life points. You can do this multiple times in a turn. And you can special summon one level 6 or lower fusion monster. Now the only catch is that it cannot attack your opponent directly and is destroyed at the end of the turn. So, you know, if you got something like a Thousand Eyes Restrict and you want to clear out your opponent's field, pretty, pretty good to get around that. So one copy of Magical Scientist, followed by one Sinister Serpent, one Exile Force, one Don Zalug Boy, one nice Tribe Infecting Virus to help clear out our opponent's field, especially... If it's covered in scapegoat tokens. One Berserk Gorilla. Oonga Boonga is always a good thing to have. Followed by one copy of Magician of Faith. One, <laughs> and I love this card, Reflect Bounder. An Esperoba classic. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nutty. <laughs> Reflect Bounder. Never thought I'd see this card in a second place deck. Nowhere near the top. But uh, sure enough, 2004 proved me wrong. And we also have not one, not two, but three 
copies of DD Warrior Lady to help banish off any of our opponent's monsters. Because we got to think about what's going on in their graveyard. Because this is around the time when everyone's kind of playing a Chaos Emperor and a Black Luster. So we got three copies of DD Warrior Lady in there to finish off the monsters in the main deck. Now, we have one copy of Reinforcement of the Army. One copy of Mirage and Nightmare. Hopefully this time we're able to play it. One copy of Graceful Charity. One copy of Potagreed, our staples in the deck. One copy of Swords Revealing Light to really stall out our opponent. Because, uh, yeah, you never know. They might get the, the upper hand and we need to just kind of draw a few cards just to give us the upper hand. Wait it out for that Chaos Emperor. So one copy of Swords, one copy of Monster Reborn, one copy of Premature Burial, one copy of Snatch Steel, one copy of Nobleman of Crossout, one copy of Creature Swap, one copy of Scapegoat, a copy of Heavy Storm, one Dark Hole, and three Mystical Space Typhoon, because why not, I guess, is the main thing there. Uh, one copy of the Forceful Century and one copy of Confiscation, so pretty good hand destruction right there. Not quite as heavy in the hand destruction as the previous years in 2003, but still gives you some hand knowledge, which is pretty good in my opinion. Next up for the traps, we got our one copy of Ring of Destruction, one copy of Call of the Haunted, one copy of Mirror Force, a copy of two... <laughs> Torrential Tributes, followed by one Raigeki Bake to round off the main deck. Now, as I said earlier, the Fusion deck had no cap, so it was uh, it was quite the hefty beast back then. And let me tell you, Chan, if you're out there, why were you playing some of these cards? Because you can't even summon them off of Magical Scientist. So we're going to go through these pretty quickly, but we have uh, three copies. Whoop. I don't know where the last one went, but there were three copies of Thousand Eyes Restrict. Two copies of Dark Balter the Terrible. Copy of Dragoness the Wicked. Dark Fire Dragon. Three copies of Reaper on the Nightmare. Two copies, three copies of Musician King. Two copies of Flame Swordsman. A Guilty of the D-Knight. Fiend Skull Dragon. Two Dark Flare Knight. Three Dark Flare Knight. Two Ryu Senshi. Now, these cards I really question because you can't bring them out. But you got an XZ Tank Cannon, 2XY Dragon Cannon, a YZ Tank Cannon, 2XYZ Dragon Cannon, and then you got two Dark Paladin and a Black Skull Dragon. So, if someone can comment down below and let me know why those monsters are in there, that would be wonderful. And of course, here is that third Thousand Eyes Restrict. Now moving on to the side deck, I think he was just trying to flex with all the cards that he got in Magician's Force as to why the Dark Paladins were in there and the XYZ pieces because he had a Dark Magician Girl in his side deck. Why? I could not tell you, but it was definitely a flex at the time. So you got one copy of Dark Magician Girl, uh, one more copy of Berserk Gorilla, a Kaku the Ghost Destroyer, a Tsukiyomi, another Magician of Faith, followed by a copy of Book of Moon, another Scapegoat, another Creature Swap, another Nullman of Crossout, two Dust Tornadoes, a Magic Cylinder, a Torrential Tribute, a Skill Drain, which I feel like was probably not seen too much back then. Maybe it was for Oonga Booga Beatdown, but that's about it. And a trap of board eraser. So, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting stuff. But we are going into this guns a blazing. I refuse to wear this hat a second time in a row. Rob has to wear a stupid dog hat because he lost. And I got to pick which deck I was playing with. And so I'm playing with uh, first place Masatoshi Tagawa's deck from the 2004 uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship, which was just a chaos deck with Magical Scientist in it. So for monsters, he was playing a Sinister Serpent, uh, a Magical Scientist, a couple Magicians of Faith, uh, a Sangan, 
two Kaikus. I'm getting sick of Kaikus. I don't really care for them. Three DD Warrior Ladies. Witch of the Black Forest, a Breaker, a Shining Angel. Could help you pull out light cards if you need them, or just light himself for some Chaos Summons. Tribe Infecting Virus, Jinzo, and your two Chaos Monsters. Well, your two boss Chaos Monsters, I guess. Um, trap cards, there aren't very many. This deck is really heavy on spells. With trap cards, he ran two Torrental Tribute, a Mirror Force, a Ring of Destruction, and a Call of the Haunted. All pretty standard issue as trap cards go. So spell cards. Three Mystical Space Typhoons. Man, I hope I don't just draw those when I don't need them. A Heavy Storm. A Snatch Steel. Premature Burial. There we go. Graceful Charity and Scapegoat. Nobleman of Crossout. I don't know, like, why? I don't know. Mirage of Nightmare. Creature Swap. Confiscation. Pot of Greed. Another Scapegoat. A Dark Hole. A Forceful Sentry. A Monster Reborn. And a Smashing Ground. Smashing Ground is kind of cool. You don't see that anymore at all. I didn't know that that would even be in this deck. I forgot that came out in um, Invasion of Chaos. I was so used to seeing it in the, all the structure decks when they started making those, like, attribute or type. Uh, just all those themed structure decks. Uh, so, extra deck. Extra deck. Black Skull Dragon just to flex. Uh, Ryu Senshi's Thousand Eyes Dark Balter and Fiend Skull Dragon Couple Roaring Ocean Snakes Couple Punished Eagles Guilty of the D-Knight Couple Reapers on the Nightmare A Flame Ghost Dark Fire Dragon Musician King I feel like Dark Fire Dragon and Flame Ghost are just in there because they're from, they both from LOB? I think so. Because they're both from LOB and it's just like, why not? Side deck. Side deck he was running, I don't know, Time Seal's pretty interesting. Trap card that makes your opponent skip their draw phase. That's like a tech card, right? That's what that'd be called. Berserk Gorilla. Creature Swap, Wabaku, Royal Decree, Magic Cylinder, oh, another Royal Decree, two Royal Decrees, Magic Cylinder, another Nobleman of Crossout, Triple Book of Moon, Mystic Tomato, Air Knight Parshath, Don Zalug, and Spirit Reaper. So, the deck isn't very trap heavy, so I can see why he'd have a couple of those in there. I always like having a Royal Decree in my deck, so that would probably have been in the main deck for me, and that's just me. Although Jinzo was getting played a lot back in back in this day. So that's it for Masatoshi Tagawa's deck. This was a first place deck, so I'm expecting I'm expecting this deck to perform very well. So let's go, let's get on with these duels. All right, duelist. You will be in this hat <laughs> next episode. No. This thing is ridiculous. Two die or It's two, warm, two, though. Two or one? Uh, it's two. High roll. Let's see. All right. Nine. Nine. All right, all right. Four. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can beat that. There we go. Eleven. Mm. And you know what? I think I will go first. All right. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Don't have fun. 
I will draw for turn. This is quite the uh, quite the opening hand here, let me tell you. I will set a card and set a card and I will end my turn. Yeah, it's quite the hand, like I said. Not in a good way? I didn't say it was bad. I think it's pretty good. I'll summon Shining Angel and attack directly. Ooh, you're just going right into battle? Yes, right into battle. I will ride Geki Break that, and I'll discard a Mystical Space Typhoon. Okie dokie. Yeah. Yeah, you don't get that nice little nifty effect from that, huh? Yeah, it's from battle. That is from battle. Yeah. Um, uh, your turn. In your end phase, I'll mystical space typhoon no. your back row. Beautiful. All right. This is, <laughs> yeah, like I said, quite the opening hand. I will draw. And then I like that so much. I will play Pot of Greed so I can draw two more times. Oh, man. This is, this is quite the uh, hefty, hefty, hefty. <sighs> I will normal summon the Don Boy Zalug. And I will enter battle, and I will attack directly for 1,400. And then I will randomly discard a card from your hand. So you got four, so one, four, yes. five, six, re-roll. All right, let's see, let's see. Beautiful, beautiful, I will take that. Uh, I will set a card, and then I will pass my turn. See what you got, Duelist. Put that face down. Hmm, interesting. I'll summon a Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyer. Ooh! Activate Premature Burial. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, pay that. That's Slick 800. And then I will enter battle. Okay. <clears throat> I'll have Kaiku attack. Ooh, for four? Yeah, I'll take that. It's Is it banished, or is it just destroyed? Um, when he inflicts battle damage, I can remove from play up to two cards from your graveyard. All right, well. Up to, two, up to two monsters. Oh, well, there goes Dom. And then you can't remove play from... You can't remove from play any cards in either graveyard. Okay, okay. Um, 400, yep. Yep. And then I will attack you directly with Shining Angel. Ooh, okay, okay. I see you, I see you. It's a little rough, a little 14 at me. And then I will end my turn. In your end phase. I'll mystical space typhoon your face down. I have to be a scapegoat. You I can't. can't. I said it, damn it! <laughs> okay. Your turn. Plus, you summon monsters and stuff. I think that's a thing. Oh, yeah, it is. You know what? <laughs> I will play Snatch Steel on your Shining Angel. Okay. And then I'll tribute it. Do you gotta pay a thousand? Nope. You would get a thousand. Oh, I would get a thousand. Okay. I'll tribute it for Jinzo! Oh no! And then I'll enter battle and have Jinzo attack Kaiku for 600. Beautiful. And then main phase two, I'll set a card and go ahead. All right. Yeah, this hat is giving me powers. Yeah, yeah. This might not be worth it, but. I'll activate Confiscation. Mmm, okay. I mean, it kind of is. The one card in my hand, yeah. Beauty Warrior Lady, I mean, it's not bad. Uh, and my turn. Alright, I will draw for my turn. Mmm, interesting. Interesting here. May I see your graveyard for no particular reason? Of course. Alright, let's see. Got a Kaiku. Shining Angel. Interesting. I will play Monster Reborn and Reborn the Kaiku. And then I will enter battle. 
I have Kaiku attack for 18. Ah, yes, yes, yes. And then Jinzo attack for 24 perfect points. Ah, ha, ha, yes. Hell yeah. first all right game <laughs> two all right let's see what you got four five six okay okay one card face down okay all right sand gain in attack mode your turn all right i will draw for turn huh let's see here um, why don't I play Dark Hole? Okay. So you do get your search. I do get my search. When I cut it, I'll make sure that they're right next to each other again. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see, let's see, let's see what's next. Uh, Breaker. Ring of Destruction. All right. A little rough. See, would so it would be, be 19? 19. 19. It'd be 19. Man. Starting early here, huh? <clears throat> I will set. And I will set. And then I will play Mirage of Nightmare. All right. Now that I finally get to. All right, and uh, go ahead. Draw. Standby. Standby. So I can draw until I have four, draw so three cards. Card. Okay. All right. I'm gonna start with Heavy Storm. Ooh, I am going to activate Scapegoat. Oh no. <laughs> and a Karibo. <laughs> well, thanks. Now I don't have to. Uh... <clears throat> Probably should use last one. I don't have to uh, discard now. You're welcome. Yeah, you're really helping me out there. I meant to do that. Yeah. You should have set that card, then played Heavy Storm. Nah, I, I would have done. There, I've definitely done that. In, uh, like, one of the Game Boy games. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, Ooh. Attack the orange one. Okay. You don't want to banish both of them? No. <laughs> <laughs> Your move. All right, I will draw for turn. Okay, interesting stuff here. I'll play, uh, Graceful Parakeet. One, two, three. Discard two. This is kind of tough, actually. Um, I guess Sinister Serpent and Ragaki Break. And then I will play Confiscation. K1000. Okay, mm -hmm. I get to look. Ooh! Wow! Okay! Alright, guy. Uh, let me see your graveyard real quick here. So you got a, you got a sand game in there. Trying to get a little DD Warrior Lady in there or something. Um, why don't we... Yeah, we should probably just send Cass Emperor to the uh, graveyard. It's probably uh, a good idea here. Um, and then, because you keep looking at that, I'll play Mystical Space Typhoon. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And then I will play the Forceful Century. So look at your hand and then return one to the deck. Wow, I didn't know those cards were in there. <laughs> I should probably send Tribe Infecting Virus, I think would probably be the, uh, the appropriate thing to do. Um, and then... I will summon Sangan, and I'll okay. attack DD Warrior Lady. Okay. You 
like to. Yeah, After damage calculation, oh, I can do more. Okay, then I'll just take the 500 and get my little sand gang and search. Search myself a little boy. Time to be weird. <laughs> um, I should probably get one beautiful magical scientist. I think would be the card oh, I interesting. want. <clears throat> yeah. It's a card that you and I kind of uh, missed out on growing up. Didn't, didn't realize some common cards were actually good. Mm -hmm. All right, and go ahead. All right. I'll attack those two. Oh no. Just leaving the Karibo. All right, I'll draw and then stand by face. Get myself a little Sinny Serpy boy back. Yep. And then I'll play Pot of Greed! So I can draw two more cards. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Why don't I. Summon Magical Scientist? Then I will pay a thousand life points. To special summon a level six or lower fusion monster from my fusion deck. Cannot attack you directly. It is destroyed at the end of the turn. Okay. So uh pretty good. Pretty good in my book. So I think I will bring out I know uh hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see indeedy. You know what? I'm gonna have some fun with this one. I'm going to bring out Thousand Eyes Restrict. Hmm. Okay. I'll use Thousand Eyes Restrict effect, and I'll sucky sucky the angel I'm off. Weird stuff. It's this deck in the hat, man. It just kind of happens. Um, it's the sucky boy. I will pay another thousand. And let's see. Let's see. I think I should. It's a 15 attack on DD Warrior Lady. Yes! Flame Swordsman does beat over that. I think I'll bring out. I guess I'll bring out another Thousand Eyes Restrict. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. And I'll sucky sucky the needy right. warrior lady, and then I'll enter battle and have magical scientists attack you directly for 300. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and I'll end my turn, so Thousand Eyes Restricts are uh, destroyed, but at least so are these. Yeah. All right. My turn? Yeah, go right ahead. Easy way to get around that shining angel. Uh, <laughs> All right, draw. Uh, happy storm. <laughs> Ooh, you could have used one on the other. I will summon Witch of the Black Forest, and I will have Magical Scientist attack, and then Witch for uh, fourteen together. Ooh. And go ahead. All right. Somehow, some way, the scapegoat token has just lived. Stay there. This first place deck is really letting me down. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's awful. Yeah, I'm winning right now because I sided in that Dark Magician girl. I'm biding my time until uh, until I can play it. I will have Magical Scientist and Witch attack you for 14 again. It's, it's the long con here. All right. I will set. And go ahead. Alright. I will draw for turn. And then I will flip my Magician of Faith. I will add back. There's so many things I could add back here. I think I'll add back Pot of Green. I think that's I think that's the, that's solid. the devious smile that I want. 
Oh, play powder green. To draw two. So many cards in my hand. Um, on your face down, I will play Nobleman of Crossouts. It's banished. banished. And then we actually have to banish all copies in our decks. Hmm. Which I think... Oh, okay, yeah. I knew one of us had two. Or maybe I had two last game. Ooh, this or deck's, last... This deck's yeah, it's really not uh, kicking off like, uh, like I thought it would, huh? All right, we got 3,000, and I got a field full of heavy hitters. <laughs> I will... Tribute Magician of Faith for the Jinzo boy. That's it. Attack you directly with Jinzo, and then Witch. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. All right, there we go. Episode two on the first back-to-back. Uh, oh, -back. So that was quite the uh, quite the thing. Happy you chose that mm -hmm. first place that first place deck, buddy. It sucks. It really uh, really led you to victory there. I mean that Chaos Emperor was a little scary to see when I played Confiscation, <laughs> but uh, yeah. You know I'm happy. That yeah, was really bad, really bad deck. Yeah, that was that was a little clunky. <laughs> I'm happy we're finally able to see Magical Scientist, though, because I think by the time we do the next, like, ban list, he's gone by then. Oh, already? Yeah. And you gotta think, we are doing this year by year, so... When I did, when I searched for, for uh, when I pulled out the Shining Angel, I really should have pulled that out, I forgot that that was even in the guts. Yeah. So... Yeah, that, that would have been, that would have been a good one. Especially just having fodder. I mean, imagine if I had him and Jinzo in my hand... Use Thousand Eyes to uh, sucky suck one of your monsters and then just tribute off the Thousand Eyes for a Jinzo. That would have been that would have been pretty nice, yeah. pretty bonkers. But that was uh, that was 2004. So now next one we have is full on goat format. 2005. Okay. So. I don't know if it's actually full on goat format, but it's <laughs> it's gonna be the closest we get into this. And Magical Scientist is already banned. And Magical and Scientist goat. is already banned at that point. Damn. And then the best part about next episode is you have to wear this hat. Maybe I'll win. Yeah, it really fuels you to want to win. I want the second place deck. Okay. Well, you, well, you get the pick actually. Well, you know what? You can have the second place deck. You can have that. You have fun with that. That is the uh, like the tomato control, I believe. Oh, all right. So it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good one. And of course, be sure to check out the Patreon because if you do, get to see these episodes one day early and all other videos as well. And it's only three dollars a month, which uh, I think you spend more on a cup of coffee anywhere in one given day. So just don't drink one for a day and help us oh, instead. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> We'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye and good night.